Sometimes the truth has a price. That may be the lesson of a Virginia police officer who says, in trying to do the right thing, he ended up paying for it. Of one man who confronted truth and consequences. This is the Truth and Consequences podcast with Doug Papa. Welcome to episode 62 for Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department video you just watched was from May 11, 2021. And as you saw, it recorded the moment the murder suspect removed the service weapon from Homicide Bureau Detective Opal Deeds' holster. On that day, the suspect, Terrell Rhodes, seen in the video, had been arrested and accused of killing two-year-old Amari Nicholson two months prior. Rhodes was handcuffed with one hand secured to the table in an interrogation room located on the first floor of Las Vegas Metro Police Headquarters located at 400 South Martin Luther King Boulevard. Homicide Detective Tate Sanborn was in the room with Detective Deeds when the incident occurred. Homicide Detective Robert Oxenhurt, if I'm pronouncing his name right, in the white shirt, entered the room to assist, followed by Homicide Detective Jason McCarthy in the blue shirt. After a short scuffle, the firearm was recovered from Rhodes' hand and he was restrained. The weapon was not discharged. Scary situation all the way around. According to police sources, Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo, who commands the Las Vegas Metro Police, put the blame for the incident on Sex Crimes Unit Lieutenant Richard Myers. Lombardo subsequently removed Lieutenant Myers from his position as the supervisor of the Sex Crimes Unit and transferred Myers to the police recruiting section. A move, police sources say, is a career killer for the lieutenant who was assigned to the prestigious sex crimes unit and who is now in charge of the unit that conducts recruit background investigations. Sources say that Lombardo's assistant sheriff, Lazaro Chavez, was instrumental in Myers' transfer. According to sources, Chavez was furious with Myers, allegedly telling Myers after the incident occurred that it was on his watch, that it made the department look bad, and then told Myers, quote, you went from a hero to a zero. Lieutenant Myers was not in the interrogation room when the incident started. I was told Sex Crimes Unit Lieutenant Myers was called in to handle the arrest because the homicide lieutenant was not available. As far as Lieutenant Myers' transfer, I was told he had no request filed to be transferred out of the Sex Crimes Unit. The slogan, quote, plaque or paper, is commonly used in the Las Vegas Metro Police Department, I was told. Plaque means that you agree to leave the unit voluntarily on good terms or face a statement of complaint. That's the favorite line with the sheriff and the Metro hierarchy, according to sources. Sources said to cover themselves, the department will say it was a voluntary transfer, but in fact, Lieutenant Myers got kicked out of the sex crimes unit. Because Myers is still in his 40s and not ready to retire, he has to comply or face the consequences of disciplinary action. He won't push back on the department, sources said. In short, leave quietly from the unit or get screwed. Nobody leaves the sex crimes unit as a lieutenant unless they get promoted. It is one step closer to being the lieutenant in the homicide unit, one of the most coveted police positions. Besides that, you lose all the overtime so it impacts you financially. I was told no disciplinary action was taken against Detective Opal Deeds. Las Vegas Metro Police personnel I have spoken to have expressed their disgust because they say that many instances of misconduct and or criminality by sheriffs and top police brass have been covered up over the years while others are targeted for disciplinary action, criminal prosecution, and or dismissal from the force. As one former high-ranking member of the Las Vegas Metro Police told me some time ago, who investigates the sheriff of Clark County and his cronies over the years? Apparently nobody, he said. Thanks for listening, folks. Much more to come in future episodes.